Hello everyone, please press subscribe, press follow, press the bell so you don't miss any new clips. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Author by Heavenly Overlord. Translator by NYOI Bo Studio. Audio novels by novelist. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 131. Might of the Six Fingers of Destruction. One move, you live up to your name as the insolent fool with no regard for the rules of the faction. I cannot compare to your insolence. Chen Xiang laughed in anger. Since this is the case, let's see how you're going to defeat me with one move. Whoosh. The third level up a tier holy king was fast, causing many to look on in awe. He was stronger than any enemy Su Yu had faced before. In the blink of an eye, Chen Xiang had disappeared from his original position, leaving behind a string of afterimages as he dashed towards Su Yu. After Su Yu processed where Chen Xiang was, Chen Xiang's original body had already charged right in front of him. Chen Xiang let out a cold laugh, striking Su Yu with his palm. Your abilities are average. Crash. His palm easily pierced Su Yu's body. Su Yu did not even have time to react. Everyone was shocked. Chen Xiang had won too easily, much easier than how Su Yu defeated Song Yu. But then, Chen Xiang's smile turned rigid. His palm had just struck air. Looking ahead, Su Yu's figure scattered into the wind. It was an illusion. The law enforcement tribunal disciples observing in the corner were surprised. The disciples of the law enforcement tribunal had much practice and training, observational skills were their specialty. But nobody had spotted Su Yu's illusion. Wang Shunxiu's calm expression gradually turned serious. What speed? Even I didn't notice. Deep in Mo Wu's eyes, there was a shred of surprise. What an unbelievable movement technique. He must have evaded at the last possible moment, but was too fast to trace with the naked eye. Gao Shuan squinted his eyes. HMPH. His movement technique is all right. Only the second elder and the tenth elder remained calm, everything was still under their control. Chen Xiang's heart skipped a beat. He could not follow Su Yu's speed. Su Yu's movement technique was better than his own. Exhale. Chen Xiang looked up. A purple figure stood calmly on his head, wings of ice sprouted from his back. The wings let out a cold glow, silently flapping. You couldn't even hit my original body, and you still have the guts to call Song Yu trash. Su Yu calmly spat. Under the stage, Song Yu was stunned. The indignance in her heart receded a little. When she looked at Su Yu again, her gaze much gentler than before. Su Yu was fighting for her. Chen Xiang's face changed. He clenched his teeth, materializing wings of spirit energy and flying up in the air. You dare be so brazen just because of your movement technique. Your abilities are average. Chen Xiang growled furiously. He flew towards Su Yu, calculating the angle and timing of his attack. His palm struck down ferociously. Dragon splitting palm. His palm was like a heavenly sword executing everything in its path. It was as if he was trying to execute a dragon. The air danced wildly, spirit energy spilling out. The power of a legacy level technique nearly at stage one upper tier shook the heavens. Su Yu remained calm. He lightly exhaled, materializing the chilly energy in his body onto his right palm. Activating his icy divine wings, which he had cultivated to stage one upper tier, his large wings started to move. Whoosh. Su Yu's figure disappeared from thin air. Chen Xiang's expression changed. Despicable vermin, escaping again. Whoosh. Before he could finish his sentence, a figure seemed to have teleported to a foot in front of him. Their palms clashed. Rumble. Shards of ice flew everywhere as cold winds howled. The terrifying spirit energy spread into the surroundings, bringing up monstrous winds which carried countless shards of ice. The disciples around the practice venue all retreated. In the chilly winds, Song Yu squinted her eyes, trying to get an understanding of the situation. Ice shards flew everywhere, creating a snowstorm. Song Yu's pupils contracted in shock. A purple figure stood in the middle of the wind and snow. By his feet was a figure grown pathetically. When the currents subsided and everything became clear, many people were surprised. Chen Xiang had been defeated by Su Yu with just a palm. 
The dragon splitting palm was frozen in a block of ice. Chen Xiang had been hit by a large impact and was suppressed to the ground, a web of cracks spreading beneath him. Chen Xiang was crushed, spitting out a mouthful of blood. He looked at Su Yu with fear in his eyes. Yo, your spirit energy is stronger than mine. How is that possible? Even the legacy level technique of the faction, the Thousand Traces Code could not expand the power of your spirit energy to such an extent. Chen Xiang's face was full of disbelief. What Su Yu cultivated was not the Thousand Traces Code, but instead the Psy of Ice from the Divine Ice Ancient Kingdom. In terms of expanding his spirit energy, it was far superior to that of the Thousand Traces Code. Su Yu had reached stage 1 upper tier of his technique, so his spirit energy was 7 times higher than opponents of his level. His power was equivalent to that of a 3rd level peak holy king. Chen Xiang was naturally unable to compete with him. The ancient eyes of the 2nd elder sized up Su Yu, slightly surprised. If her eyes did not mistake her, this was already the second legacy level technique Su Yu had used. He had one movement technique and a technique to expand his spirit energy. These were not legacy level techniques of the faction, where did he get them? The 10th elder also observed this, his eyes contracting into a slit. This disciple of Li Guang was crafty indeed. But when he glimpsed his own disciple Ka Shuan, his heart relaxed. No matter how strong Su Yu was, he would never be stronger than Ka Shuan. Coldly looking at Chen Xiang, Su Yu gradually retracted his wings of ice. I was not brazen, but you are too weak. Since you were defeated by me in one move, should you be punished by the rest of the disciples from the law enforcement tribunal? Chen Xiang was filled with anger and shame. He had punished Song Yu for losing in one strike and called her trash. Now he was also defeated in one strike. Was he to be punished by Wang Shunxiu? The sixth battle, Wang Shunxiu against Chen Xiang. Wang Shunxiu raised his eyebrows, slowly walking toward the stage. He shook his head in disappointment as he walked past Chen Xiang. Chen Xiang's body trembled, fear creeping across his face. I admit defeat. Chen Xiang chose to surrender. He feared Wang Shunxiu would punish him like he had punished Song Yu. But, most importantly, he was definitely no match for Wang Shunxiu. He could not even touch Wang Shunxiu. Wang Shunxiu did not attempt to stop him, only deepening his disappointment. Your abilities are far weaker than Su Yu. Your abilities are bad, and your attitude is even worse. Your defeat was completely expected. Chen Xiang could not retort. He lowered his head in shame even though he felt indignant. If Su Yu had not had that strange levels of spirit energy, how could he have won? He had almost reached stage 1 upper tier of a legacy level technique. If they had the same levels of spirit energy, Su Yu would have been blasted to shreds. The seventh battle, Wang Shunxiu against Cao Shuan. Cao Shuan did not move, not even looking directly at the arena. He waited for a moment, but he did not hear Wang Shunxiu surrender. He raised his eyes and looked over. You are not choosing to admit defeat. Even though I am weaker than you, the battle must continue. Wang Shunxiu's gaze was resolute. His gaze fell on Su Yu. Admiration and praise filled his heart even though the disciples of the law enforcement tribunal only had negative feelings about Su Yu. But Wang Shunxiu had personally seen the Fallen Star contest. Su Yu's determination had deeply shaken his soul. In fact, after witnessing the contest that day, Wang Shunxiu was inspired. Su Yu's bravery and willingness to do whatever it took to gain power, even though he was weaker than Cao Shuan, was incredible. His soul would not be extinguished. Cao Shuan's lips formed a belittling smile. Seeing as there were elders present, he had to enter the battle. Whoosh! An air crackling sound boomed. Wang Shunxiu had already made his move, but Cao Shuan's figure still stood at his original position. Wang Shunxiu wrinkled his brows as he looked over. Why does senior Cao not want to spar with his junior? But a faint mocking laugh suddenly spread from the practice venue. You can't even follow me, what is there to spar? Wang Shunxiu suddenly turned back. Cao Shuan was standing behind him with his hands behind his back. When Wang Shunxiu returned his gaze to the 10th elder, Cao Shuan gradually dissolved into the air. 
An illusion. Wang Shengxiu was completely shocked. Gao Xuan's cultivation level was clearly suppressed to second level peak Holy King, but his speed still surpassed the limits of what the human eye could follow. Wang Shengxiu was expectant. He cupped his hands in respect. Teach me, Sun Yu Kao. The words, teach me, were definitely not said out of politeness. With Cao Xuan's abilities and status, Wang Shengxiu definitely did not have the right to spar with him. But now, thanks to the fight between Cao Xuan and Su Yu, he had been granted a chance to spar him. Wang Shengxiu did not know if he could last 10 moves against Cao Xuan, even if he suppressed his cultivation level to a whole level below his. At least 3 moves, that was Wang Shengxiu's bottom line. If he could last more than 10 moves, he would be satisfied. After all, the opponent he faced had entered the dragon realm. His techniques and experience were still present. Teach you, there's no need. Cao Xuan coldly shook his head. I'll let you have the first three moves. After that, just admit defeat and get down of the stage. My opponent is Su Yu, I don't have time to dawdle with you. Wang Shengxiu was slightly startled, his face red from humiliation. Senior Cao, why do you look down on me so much? If you want to strike, strike now. Otherwise, you won't ever have the chance to strike. Cao Shuang grunted. No chance to strike. Wang Shengxiu felt terribly indignant. Since that is the case, forgive me. Wang Shengxiu let out a low grunt, striking decisively. Heavenly Dragon Strike. Wang Shengxiu retracted his fists before suddenly striking out like two heavenly dragons emerging out of the sea. Two yellow dragon-shaped figures shot out from his fists. The dragons howled, letting out an aura that threatened to extinguish all life. The two dragons ferociously charged forward, as if attempting to crumble the lakes and mountains. Su Yu was astonished, this technique was a stage 1 upper tier legacy level technique. In fact, it was already nearing stage 1 peak. Its power was horrifying. Gao Shuan was a little surprised, but his expression was quickly replaced by a mocking smile. Whoosh. His figure suddenly disappeared, not taking advantage to counterattack Wang Shengxiu, but instead, charging straight towards the twin dragons. Six fingers of destruction. Gao Shuan let out a low grunt. Even though his cultivation level was only at second level peak Holy King, six of his fingers materialized a horrifying blaze. Pointing to the air, the flames consumed everything. The dust in the air was all incinerated. Creek. The two terrifying dragon figures were also incinerated. A small spark traced the figure of the dragon towards Wang Shengxiu. Wang Shengxiu's expression suddenly changed. Stage 1 peak legacy level technique. Seeing the power of Cao Xuan's attack, Wang Shengxiu hurriedly broke off from his twin dragons. But it was too late. Creak. The flames immediately engulfed his body, incinerating the hair and robes on his body. The smell of burnt flesh accompanied Wang Shengxiu's contorted expression. The second elder creased her brows gently, flicking her fingers. Whoosh. The flames were extinguished. Wang Shengxiu's body had turned black and he slipped into a coma. The disciples of the Law Enforcement Tribunal were immensely shocked. The highest of the four rising stars could not even last one move against Cao Shuan, who had suppressed his cultivation level to one level below his. You couldn't even take advantage of the three moves I gave you, and you dare talk about me teaching you. Cao Shuan mocked. Cao Shuan had not truly attacked. Only a small sliver of power had wandered over to Wang Shengxiu, but Wang Shengxiu was thoroughly defeated. The final match, Cao Shuan against Su Yu. Whoosh. As soon as the referee said this Su Yu flew over. A merciless expression spread from his cold eyes. He had waited for this fight for a long time. Cao Shuan's expression was also cold. You have finally come. That was no need for any other words between the two. This practice venue was their stage. It was a stage prepared for their fight. Su Yu closed his eyes, taking in a deep breath. Then, he suddenly opened his eyes. Let's fight. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 132. Ice Flames. I, Cao Shuan, will definitely obtain your woman. Cao Shuan wore a mocking smile. 
Su Yu did not regard his words. His gaze was collected. Chilly energy slowly gathered around his body, preparing for the battle. Thinking that Su Yu was a cornered animal, Cao Shuan's mocking smile grew wider. Great. The more you struggle, the more meaningful it is for me to trample you. In the past, my teacher stole your teacher's woman. Today, let me, Cao Shuan, steal your woman. Your woman is mine. What a pitiful pair, even your fates are the same. These words were projected telepathically. After all, Han Ji was just under the stage. Su Yu's calm eyes had a ripple of emotion, a shred of hatred flickered in his gaze. A hundred years ago, Han Ji had stolen Li Guang's woman. Now, Han Ji's disciple was going to use this battle to steal the woman of Li Guang's disciple. First, you won't be able to steal my woman with your abilities. Second, I, Su Yu, will take the lives of you and your teacher one by one. Su Yu calmly replied. Gao Shuan stood with his hands behind his back, just like how he did standing on the Garuda back at the Shunyu Island. He seemed to regard everyone as ants, looking at him with a belittling gaze. Say that after you survive one of my attacks. Against you, I will not hold back. Crack. The chilly energy in Su Yu's body billowed, radiating into the surroundings with the bottom of his feet at the center of the cold circle. The cold temperature turned the entire practice venue into an icy wasteland. The frost spread toward Cao Shuan's feet, but at the last second, it turned away from him. It was as though Cao Shuan was a ball of wildfire, causing the chilly energy to retreat away from him. Just your pitiful chilly energy cannot do anything to me. Cao Shuan mocked, six fingers of destruction. He nonchalantly extended six fingers, each encircled with an intense flame. The dust in the air was incinerated. Creak. He flicked his finger, sending embers in every direction. Everywhere the embers landed the frost disintegrated into white vapors of water. In the blink of an eye, all the ice on the practice venue had disappeared aside for a small circle around Su Yu. Wang Shung Xu, who was gradually waking up from his coma, stared at the scene. His eyes flooded with a deep shock. Even though Cao Shuan had suppressed his cultivation level, his battle power was still much stronger than a third level holy king. The six fingers of destruction was a fire style technique, a hard counter to Su Yu's techniques. Flames are the nemesis of ice. Blame your fate for facing me. Cao Shuan let out a mocking laugh. Your techniques are countered by mine and your fate will also be countered by me, Cao Shuan. The ancient eyes of the second elder involuntarily showed signs of worry. The ice techniques that Su Yu relied on heavily were countered, his chance of victory was shrinking. Su Yu did not move, his expression still calm. Gao Shuan squinted his eyes. HMPH, do you know how annoying your calm expression is? Be it at Shunyu Island or yesterday when he disrupted the marriage, Su Yu's expression had always been calm. Su Yu was an ant who did not know when to give up, much to the annoyance of Cao Shuan. I'll send you on your way. Always pretending to be calm. Cao Shuan let out a grunt. Six fingers of destruction. Creak. The fiery red flames radiated with an intense heat, circling between his six fingers. Whoosh. Cao Shuan's movement techniques were also immensely powerful. He closed into Su Yu's side in just the blink of an eye. His six fingers gave off an intense light, pointing towards Su Yu's chest. I have counted the ice techniques you use, how can you still be so proud? Rumble. The six fingers of destruction attack was closing in. Su Yu's eyes shot out an icy light. Intense flames. I'm sorry, I have that too. What? Had Su Yu also cultivated fire style techniques? That's impossible. Since he had focused on the path of ice, suddenly cultivating fire style techniques would cause a clash, causing more harm than good. Glazed ice flame. Su Yu let out a low grunt. Creak. An azure flame appeared around Su Yu's body. The flames were three feet high, enveloping the entirety of Su Yu's body. The fierce azure flames caused Su Yu's scrawny figure to look incredibly giant. The dancing flames shook the hearts of many. How can that be? To cultivate both ice and fire techniques at the same time, is that even possible? 
Many disciples were dumbfounded. The tenth elder's expression was collected as he savored his tea. When he glanced toward the intense flames, his pupils contracted. When he fully observed the situation, a shred of confusion entered his eyes. The second elder had a look of surprise as well. Those are indeed flames, but they are not flames created by fire. They are ice flames. Flames created by concentrated chili energy. Gao Shuan attacked, but was unprepared for the three feet high flames erupting from Su Yu's body, color draining from his face. This is the most difficult legacy level technique to cultivate, hidden deep within the depository. Its power is incredible, it's the glazed ice flame. He felt a shock he had never felt in all his life. The glazed ice flame was the most difficult legacy level technique to cultivate in the depository. In the history of the Leoxian faction, no one had successfully cultivated this technique. According to rumors, even cultivating it to lower tier would need at least 10 years. Slow learners would need as much as 50 years. One could even master a large part of a complete legacy level technique with that amount of time. Why would anybody waste their time on reaching the lower tier of a fragment of a legacy level technique? No one had ever touched the manual. How long had Su Yu been here at all? According to calculations, Su Yu had only been here for slightly over a month, but he had succeeded in cultivating such a technique. Su Yu had almost learned the glazed ice flame already, but with the help of the chilly energy of the icy pearl under the icy azure lake, he had finally broken through to stage one lower tier. Congratulations, you were correct. Su Yu showed a cold smile. He suddenly attacked with his right palm. The azure ice flames blanketed the surroundings, attempting to swallow everything in their path. The ice flames were intensely cold. They were beautiful and radiant, much to the awe of everyone. The rare ice flames were finally shown to the world. Creek. Even the intensely hot six fingers of destruction were extinguished by the azure ice flames. A layer of ice flames latched onto Kao Shuan's finger, rapidly spreading throughout his entire body. Ah. Gao Shuan let out a pathetic shout. The ice flames burned his life force away. Looking at the ice flames, he could see they were not destroying everything like normal flames would. Red and green wounds fused together throughout Gao Shuan's body. The azure ice flames were eventually swallowed by the raging flames. Exhale. Gao Shuan's breathing was heavy, his expression looking a little haggard. A shred of fear appeared in his eyes. Had he hesitated for a moment longer, the terrifying ice flames would have engulfed his entire body. Deep anger and shame were written on Kao Shuan's face. He had been extremely confident previously, but he had nearly been defeated by Su Yu's first attack. Kao Shuan felt stares of doubt aimed in his direction. This fight had put his reputation in jeopardy. HMPH. I have merely used 30% of my abilities. It's too early for you to be arrogant. Gao Shuan ferociously lifted his head, clenching his teeth in fury. He was not bluffing. Against Su Yu, he had only used 30% of his abilities. He had thought that 30% of his usual strength would be enough to completely defeat Su Yu, but instead. Gao Shuan clenched his teeth. All right. With my full power, I'll beat you with one move. Six fingers of destruction. He did not look down on Su Yu anymore. The flames on Ka Shuan's fingertips burned wildly. A tower of fiery red flames enveloped his entire body from his fingers. With a rumble, the tower of flame burned four feet high. The flames harbored an intense heat, causing Su Yu's ice flames to waver. Not good, Su Yu. The disciples below the stage were worried for Su Yu. Glazed ice flame was the hardest legacy level technique to cultivate, but it has the most power but Su Yu had only cultivated it to stage 1 lower tier. Ultimately, it still cannot match up to a stage 1 peak legacy level technique. The wavering eyes of the 10th elder gradually calmed down. He once again went back to savoring his tea, a faint smile creeping across his face. To be able to cultivate the glazed ice flame was surprising indeed, but unfortunately the victor has already been decided. The second elder was worried. If that was the technique that gave Su Yu his confidence, the outcome of this match had already been decided. 
Gao Xuan's fierce glare shot forward, his six fingers developing a piercing flame. Apologies, but your woman is mine. Grovel under the might of a stage one peak. Gao Xuan's victory was imminent, his six fingers striking Su Yu with the piercing flame. Su Yu did not try to defend himself. The ice flames around his body died down. He was going to use his body to block Gao Xuan's blow. Amid the confusion, a purple glow appeared below Su Yu's feet. An eerie, destructive power took on a physical form, radiating into the surroundings. A cold voice came from Su Yu's direction, Stage 1 peak, sorry, but I have that too. Su Yu also had flames. Whoosh, whoosh. The faint sound of something spiraling accompanied the destructive force, entering the ears of the spectators. Looking down, many ladies shivered with excitement. They were unable to suppress their affection. Under Su Yu's feet, a giant purple lotus several feet long was spiraling midair. The image of the flower was clear, the veins on its petals distinct. Nine petals danced silently in the wind. The flower swayed gently. The exquisite flower was graceful like a fairy. It was lifelike, too beautiful to be an illusion. But, while the purple lotus was beautiful, the purple thunder flares that spread from it were terrifying. It was covered in terrifying energy. The destructive spirit energy was violent and terrifying, causing the hearts of many to thump wildly. Even catching a glimpse of it would cause unease. Many of the disciples involuntarily stepped back. Their intuition told them that the purple lotus was extraordinarily dangerous. The second elder shuddered. She stared for a moment, deep in shock. Thunder style legacy level technique, stage one peak. The tenth elder's collected expression turned rigid, an unease welling up within him. What kind of demon-like levels of perception did Suyu possess? He had cultivated the hardest legacy level technique in just a month. Now, he had achieved stage one peak of a legacy level technique at just 14 years of age. Where did Li Guang find such a disciple? Why did he bring so much unease? Feeling such unease, even as an elder, one could see how much of an impact Su Yu had made on the Tenth Elder's heart. A killing intent rose in the Tenth Elder's gaze but extinguished under the gaze of the Second Elder. It was too late to kill Su Yu. The perfect time for that had passed. The purple light illuminated the practice venue. Su Yu looked like a celestial being atop the destructive purple lotus. He was like a lotus child from an ancient legend. Purple Star Thunderbolt had been on the precipice of Stage 1 peak. Under the icy azure lake, Su Yu had achieved a breakthrough and had finally entered Stage 1 peak. Gao Xuan's cold smile suddenly turned rigid. An uncomfortable sensation welled up within him. Su Yu laughed mercilessly. This is a strike especially prepared for you. Appreciate it. With a tap of his toe, the purple lotus spun wildly. At that moment, the purple light pierced all directions. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 133. Divine Punishment of Ice and Thunder. Rumble. The thunder was rolling, shaking the earth. The practice venue blew up into pieces, multiple cracks spreading outward in all directions. The powerful waves radiated all around the venue. Dust flew into the air. The dust danced with the arcs of lightning as if a landslide had just occurred. Many disciples backed away in a hurry. The duel between two stage one peak legacy level techniques was truly horrifying. The dust and smoke scattered, falling back onto the ground. The expressions of many from the crowd changed when they looked for the second time. The practice venue was demolished, rubble and debris everywhere. All they saw were two figures standing on the ground. One was poised with grace, his purple robe dancing in the wind. His silver hair was swaying wildly as he stood with his hands behind his back. The other was in tattered robes, his exposed skin was badly burnt. A nauseating smell hit the crowd. It was immediately obvious who had won the clash. Su Yu was unharmed, but Cao Xuan was injured. His face was pale and haggard. In a full-on contest of power, Su Yu had come out on top. Both techniques were stage one peak legacy level techniques. Su Yu had won because his spirit energy was much higher than his opponents, reaching the level of a third-level peak Holy King. 
Gao Shuan had the advantage of his biological limits surpassing that of a holy king's. Otherwise, the Purple Star Thunderbolt would have been enough to take his life, instead of merely leaving him with light injuries. But, without question, Su Yu had won this fight. You, even with your full powers, are still not my opponent. Su Yu wore a cold smile. The only advantage you have was that you had six more years to cultivate than me. In front of me, you have no right to be proud. In the past, in Kao Shuan's eyes, Su Yu did not even have the right to speak to him. But today, when they were at the same cultivation level, he could not defeat Su Yu. This, undoubtedly, was a mockery. Victor, Su Yu, the referee announced. He had used his abilities to achieve victory, succeeding in taking Qin Shi on a back. From this point on, there would be no relationship between Kao Shuan and Qin Shi Anna. Zhu Rong's plans had ultimately been destroyed. The second elder nodded her head. The abilities Su Yu had kept hidden were indeed cause for surprise. Gao Shuan had been rightfully defeated by Su Yu. The tenth elder had a sinister look on his face. The battle he had been extremely confident about had ended in a defeat. Losing Qin Shiana was but a small matter, but sullying their reputation was a grave mistake. A person who had entered the Dragon Realm, with his techniques and battle experience, had lost to a person of the same level as him. In fact, if he did not have the constitution of the Dragon Realm, his life would have been forfeit. The Tenth Elder had mixed emotions, cursing under his breath. Li Guang, Ah Li Guang, you have already died, why have you left behind a disciple to find trouble with me? The battle had come to an end. No matter what techniques Kao Shuan employed, they were countered by Su Yu. He had been thoroughly defeated. Glancing at Kao Shuan, Su Yu turned to leave the practice venue. His heart was relaxed. He could finally be reunited with Xi'ana. Ah, what are you doing? The referee shouted in surprise. A sharp piercing sound assaulted Su Yu's ears. An all-consuming aura filled the arena like a monster about to swallow Su Yu whole. It was horrifying, every hair on Su Yu's head stood up. A feeling of unease welled up in his heart. Behind him, Kao Shuan's eyes were filled with killing intent. What are you, winning against me, Die. Kao Shuan had disregarded the rules. He shattered the limit on his cultivation level and was charging towards Su Yu to deal a killing blow. Su Yu suddenly turned his head, his heart thumping wildly. He had caught a glimpse of death. An icy cold glare encircled in his eyes, followed by an intense killing intent. If you can't afford to lose, then don't battle. I'll kill you. Gao Shuan was furious. He did not take the loss well. He had lost to an ant that he looked down upon. HMPH. If that's the case, then don't blame me. Su Yu pointed his fingers toward his eyes, removing two thin contacts. His paranormal red and purple eyes were shown to the world. Who do you think you are? I could kill you at my whim. His words were cut short as he saw the light from Su Yu's purple left eye. Seal of time. He grunted heartily. Su Yu controlled all of time with one eye, trapping Kao Shuan into a frozen state. Kao Shuan's thoughts and instincts were still present, but he could no longer control his body. The cultivation level he was restoring came to a halt. The sneak attack he was attempting came to a stop. His entire body fell forward briefly before he regained control. His face was shocked. Gao Shuan involuntarily retreated, maintaining a distance between them. He thought Su Yu's purple eye was too strange. Nothing should be able to freeze Gao Shuan in the currents of time. Thus, he made the smart choice to retreat, waiting for his cultivation level to once again enter the dragon realm before killing Su Yu with a flick of his finger. Gao Shuan was relieved he had decided to retreat when he that saw Su Yu had materialized a spear of flames while Gao Shuan was frozen. It had the color of ice flames, but also the same deep purple glows of the lightning flares. Purple and blue, ice and lightning fused together to form a three-foot-long spear. The spear's aura of destruction caused the skin of Memi to crawl. Its power was far greater than that the giant purple lotuses. Its threat was enough to cause Kao Shuan, with a dragon's constitution, to suffer severe injuries. It might even have killed him. 
The skin on his scalp crawled. Gao Shuang was in shock, losing his voice. Half Divine Great Holy Decree. The Holy Decree was usually cultivated to top class saint grade before plateauing. Even people in the Dragon Realm stopped at that level. Many people gave up on cultivating the Holy Decree after entering the realm of the Holy King and learning to control spirit energy, for the levels of the Holy Decree above Saint Grade were extremely hard to cultivate. Without a special affinity and an insane level of perception, it was very difficult for anyone to succeed. But Su Yu had cultivated his Holy Decree to a fearsome half-divine grade. The second elder and tenth elder were rushing to stop Kao Shuan. They did not expect Su Yu to show off his trump card, the half divine grade holy decree. The half divine grade holy decree that required years to cultivate was used by Su Yu, a 14 year old youth. Stop. The eyelids of the tenth elder twitched. This move was enough of a threat to Kao Shuan. Su Yu did not regard his words. He wielded the spear, throwing it toward Kao Shuan. The spear, infused with azure and purple flames radiated a skin-crawling destructive power. The ice flames and thunder flares had fused into one. It had taken the form of a spear, flying toward Kao Shuan. Kao Shuan, in a state of terror, hurriedly flew back in retreat. The distance between Kao Shuan and the spear was great enough that he had enough time to evade it. Once he made sure that he was no longer in any immediate danger, his lips formed a mocking smile. Its power is passable, but unfortunately the person using the technique is a pathetic nuisance. A pathetic nuisance. Su Yu's red right eye suddenly shone brightly. Space manipulation. Everywhere the red light shone, Su Yu was in control. In Kao Shuan's sudden bewilderment and panic, he was suddenly shoved forward. Creek. Gao Shuan had been forcefully teleported to just a foot away from the Spear of Flames. Gao Shuan barely had enough time to muster out a pathetic howl. Heavenly punishment of ice and thunder. With Su Yu's low grunt, the Spear of Divine Punishment, fused with ice and thunder flames, pierced Gao Shuan. Rumble. An earth-shaking sound, much louder than the Purple Lotus, shook the entire Law Enforcement Tribunal. The entire Lyxian faction including both inner and outer sanctums was shaken by this terrifying sound. The sound seemed to have a physical form, blasting away the roof of the law enforcement tribunal. Multiple disciples were caught in the resulting energy waves and were sent flying. The rolling dust and debris were swept up by the energy waves, spreading in all directions. The shocking scene caused everyone to gasp. Was this still a blow from a second level holy king? No, not even a third level holy king could have an attack this powerful. When the smoke and dust subsided, the crowd looked on in shock. They saw the crumbling walls of the practice venue, cracks spreading in all directions as the walls were on the verge of collapse. A bloody youth with tattered robes was pinned to the wall. A smooth spear made of purple and azure flames was flowing through his body, destroying his life force. It was Kao Shuan. There was no undamaged spot on his body. His flesh had been torn apart. A hole had been torn through his stomach and his breathing was shallow. His eyes were glazed over as he forcefully fought to stay sober. He had been defeated again. Ever since the battle began, he had been defeated time and time again by Su Yu. Su Yu counted Kao Shuan's flames with his eyes. Su Yu counted the stage 1 top class technique he had with the purple star thunderbolt. Su Yu had counted Kao Shuan's sneaky full powered attack by using his trump card. From the beginning, Su Yu had systematically defeated him. He had trampled on his dignity and pride. In fact, Kao Shuan had never managed to inflict any injuries on Su Yu. The difference between them had led Kao Shuan to utter defeat. A humiliation he had never felt in his life turned into a deep hatred. He raised his head, his eyes shooting out a bitter glare. Su Yu, do you think that you have won? Did you think that you could get your woman back by winning against me? Gao Shuan was agitated, spitting out a mouthful of blood which caused his appearance to look even more ferocious. I would suggest you go check on your fiancé now. If you wish to save her, you should obediently give her to me. Gao Shuan let out a maniacal laugh as if he had latched onto Su Yu's weakness. It was as if he was the ultimate winner. 
Whoosh. A gust of wind filled the surrounding area. Su Yu's figure descended in front of him, disregarding Cao Xuan's words. He pointed a finger at Cao Xuan's chest. He wanted to kill him, even though he was severely injured. Vermin. That's enough. A sinister, low growl came from behind Su Yu. Su Yu's body trembled. The vital and spiritual energy in his body was disrupted. He tumbled onto the floor. The tenth elder flickered over, retrieving Cao Xuan from the wall. He checked Cao Xuan's injuries angrily. Not only had Cao Xuan's flesh been torn apart, but multiple bones had been broken as well. The nerves and vital energy channels in his body were shattered. There were still remnants of ice and thunder destroying the insides of Cao Xuan. Even though Cao Xuan wasn't dead, he was basically crippled. To fully recover would take him at least half a year. Being so merciless at such a young age and harming your fellow disciples, I will not forgive you. The tenth elder squinted as his killing intent surfaced. Whoosh. The figure of a lady blocked Su Yu, an ugly face displaying a malicious intent. Why do you wish to be unreasonable here? Gao Shuang disregarded the rules and removed the limit on his cultivation level to sneak an attack on his opponent. He deserves death. Since he is not completely dead yet, I shall take pity on him and send him on his way. In terms of being unreasonable, who could best the second elder? Rumble. The second elder meant what she'd said as she struck Cao Shuan with a finger. The expression on the tenth elder's face changed. He immediately left with Cao Shuan in his arms. At the door of the law enforcement tribunal, he turned, his expression filled with injustice and fury. All right. Su so Yu won this match. I, I shall not pursue this any further. He was worried that the second elder would really go crazy with her intent on killing Cao Shuan. Cao Shuan, bearing his intense pain, clenched his teeth as he howled. Su so Yu, you will soon plead with me to take your woman, ha ha. The sound grew further and further until it was silent. Su so Yu's gaze turned cold, the wings of ice behind him waved as he made to leave. The second elder turned fierce. You wish to die in pursuit? No, it's Xianna. Su Yu's heart was filled with unease. Did Cao Shuan do something to Xianna? Had he poisoned her with an incurable venom? Why was Cao Shuan convinced that Su Yu would give Xianna over to save her life? A deep feeling of unease welled up within him. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 134 Phoenix of Death. Su Yu had spread his icy divine wings the entire journey back to the yard of the second elder, moving near the speed of light. When he descended into the yard, there were no signs of Xianna. The unease in his heart grew stronger. Whoosh. He flew into the room only to see Xianna still laying on the bed asleep. Her petite body was curled into a ball like a little cat. Su Yu let out a long sigh of relief. It was great that there was nothing unusual going on. Walking forward, Su Yu reached out to caress Xianna's face. But just as his fingers were about to make contact with Xianna, a raspy voice scowled behind him. Stop. Don't touch her. It was the second elder. She hurriedly rushed over and glanced at Xianna. Her white, ancient eyes showed a little worry, her expression turning serious. Su Yu's fingers halted. He looked back, unable to comprehend the second elder's words. The feeling of unease welled up within him again. What could make her, an elder within the faction, so worried? Second elder, what did Cao Shuan mean? Su Yu's heart felt as though it had been gripped by an invisible hand, shrinking it into a ball. The second elder walked forward, staring at the sleeping Xianna before sighing. My suspicions were right. After speaking, she waved her sleeve. A snow-like substance scattered from within her sleeve, forming a thin veil and enveloping Xianna. Under the substance, Xianna's body was suddenly surrounded by a thin layer of black fog in the shape of a phoenix. The second elder looked at Su Yu with a little pity, gently sighing. The phoenix of black fog, also known as the phoenix of death. It is hardly visible to the naked eye and will only appear under certain circumstances. The Phoenix of Death. The unease in Su Yu grew. The Phoenix of Death only applies to people who have the bloodline of the Phoenix. 
Having the bloodline of the phoenix does not guarantee that a person could use the power of their bloodline to aid in their cultivation, for the bloodline remains dormant for 30% of people. The dormant bloodline poses no harm to a person, yet there are no benefits either. But there are a few that possess the dormant bloodline of the phoenix whose bloodline will wither as they grew, turning into a bloodline of death. This strain of the bloodline of the phoenix is called the phoenix of death. This is the case for Shiana. Phoenix of death. Su Yu suddenly thought about the incidents from that morning, when he saw the seal of the nine phoenix on Shiana's back faintly shrouded by a black fog. He did not pay it much attention back then. To think that that was a sign of a phoenix of death. Su Yu grew nervous. How does the phoenix of death affect the body? Affect the body. There's no impact. The second elder shook her head, but her tone suddenly changed. It does not have any impact on the body as, once the bloodline completely withers and the phoenix of death fully descends, the person would immediately die. These events have happened multiple times in the faction. It was also introduced many times in ancient books. Once the phoenix of death descends, the wielder of the bloodline dies. No one will be able to do anything about it, the second elder gravely said. Su Yu choked. His eyes fell into a daze immediately die. How can it be? Then why would Kao Shuan have the confidence to promise that he can save Xi'ana? A shred of pity flashed in the eyes of the second elder. That is because, Kao Shuan has a unique constitution of the fiery sun. If he were to engage in copulation with Xi'ana, he would be able to use his constitution of the fiery sun to infuse Xi'ana's bloodline of the phoenix with fiery sun energy. This way, he could slowly awaken the bloodline and ensure the survival of the bloodline, solving the crisis of the phoenix of death entirely. Thus, you only have two choices. First, you watch Xiana die. Second, you send her to Kao Shuan and she might be saved. The second elder could not help but grieve for Su Yu him and Xiana had clearly gone through multiple tribulations until Su Yu was able to rescue her. But his eventual fate was to give his woman back to the hands of Kao Shuan. Furthermore, if it was really as Kao Shuan had said, he might not save Qin Xiana unless Su Yu begged him. It was all up to Su Yu. Was he going to keep Xiana for himself and push her to her death, or think for her and bear with the resulting agony? No matter the option, the situation was too cruel for Su Yu. Su Yu shuddered, why did it turn out this way? Xi'ana would either die or be violated by Kao Shuan. It was like a ball of fire burned in his chest. Su Yu was resentful. Is there no other way to continue the bloodline of the nine phoenixes without the fiery sun energy? Su Yu could not believe it. The second elder sighed as she gently shook her head. Other than that, there's no other way. Suddenly, she stopped mid-sentence. The second elder seemed to have recalled something, but her eyes turned dull again. It is not to say that there's no other way, but the chance of it happening is extremely small. Su Yu was like a drowning man who suddenly spotted a life-saving device, his eyes sparkling with excitement. He even neglected the difference in status and grabbed the second elder by her hand, lightly shaking her. What's the other way? Say it. Say it quickly. I can definitely achieve it. The second elder did not expect such a reaction, she was shocked by Su Yu's insane gestures. Staring into the glow within Su Yu's eyes, the second elder's heart was moved. Did Su Yu's love for Xi'ana run so deep? The method is simple, find the blood of the phoenix. The second elder described the method, the reason the phoenix of death will descend is due to the withering of the bloodline of the phoenix. If we were to find the blood of the phoenix and inject it within her body, the withering bloodline of the phoenix would not only completely recover, but also completely awaken much stronger than before. This method is superior to fusing the bloodline with the constitution of the fiery sun. In comparison, the constitution of the fiery sun is but a small stream, while the blood of the phoenix is a raging river. Blood of the phoenix. Where? Where can I find it? Su Yu had found hope in a hopeless situation. The second elder sighed. The phoenix is a heavenly spirit. There is no guarantee that you will spot it even once in a century. Where are you going to find the blood of the phoenix? I have read many ancient scrolls from the faction. 
The last time the blood of the phoenix was found was 300 years ago, by a powerful warrior who had entered the dragon realm in our faction. He cultivated it into a phoenix blood elixir, the second elder said. Su Yu's heart felt like it had been splashed by icy water, but he refused to give up. Where is that senior of the dragon realm? Has the elixir been consumed? The second elder looked at Su Yu in pity. He has gone missing. Back then, he was one of the four core disciples of the faction, but he went missing when he was training in the ancient Xianyan temple. Where is the ancient Xianyan temple? I'll search for him immediately. Su Yu was incredibly anxious. You can't reach it, the second elder sighed as she shook her head. The ancient Xianyan temple is an ancient divine palace that floats in the sky. It has no fixed position, only appearing in the vicinity of the Lixian faction once every five years. According to calculations, it will only descend here three months from now. Three months? Based on Xianyan's condition, how long can she last? Su Yu asked. The second elder observed Keen Shiana before affirmatively saying, Half a year. Half a year. Half a year is enough. Since the ancient Xianyan temple will descend in our faction, why won't I be able to reach it? Su Yu questioned. Because only 20 people may enter it, based on the rankings of the disciples of the faction. Based on your abilities now, do you think you can enter the top 20 of the faction? The second elder returned a question. These words were like icy water, causing Su Yu's limbs to turn cold. His cultivation level was at second level peak, while his overall abilities were at third level peak. But, among the disciples of the faction, he might not even be in the top hundred, much less the top twenty. At his level of ability, he simply could not enter the ancient Xianyan temple. Furthermore, even if you managed to enter the top 20, you would also have no right to enter, the second elder sighed as she elaborated further. Su Yu's heart sank. He let out a low sigh. Why is that? The people who enter must have a certain degree of loyalty to the faction. I could help you explain your breaking of the faction's rules, but you have only entered the faction for a short time and haven't made any contributions to the faction, so your loyalty could be questioned. The ancient Xianyan temple is a place with many valuable resources. People who practice there make insane improvements. The faction would not give the chance to enter the temple to people who are untrustworthy. Her reasoning was sound. If a person with impure thoughts managed to secure a spot in the top 20, it could be a huge disaster if they ended up betraying the faction. This had happened in the Lixian faction before. Unless you were a senior disciple of the faction or have made considerable contributions to the faction, you would not be given the right to enter. How can I prove my loyalty? By giving my entire arsenal of legacy level techniques to the faction. For Xi'anna, Su Yu would not hesitate to share everything he had learned. But the second elder gently shook her head. I'm afraid that, even if you give your entire body to the faction, you cannot prove your loyalty in such a short amount of time. Even with Su Yu's stubbornness, he felt a deep despair. Attaining a spot among the top 20 students would be incredibly difficult. Then, he would have to prove his loyalty, which seemed impossible. In fact, even if he managed to achieve both of those things and enter the ancient Xianyan temple and somehow managed to find the core disciple who had gone missing 300 years ago, who could guarantee that the phoenix blood elixir that could save Xianyan's life would not already have been consumed. But his despair only lasted for a moment. Su Yu did not believe in destiny, nor was he willing to bow down to fate. He had been through despair in the past. The situation before him was no harder than whatever he had experienced in the past. As long as there was a shred of hope, Su Yu would not give up. Second Elder, please tell me, when does the fight for the rankings start? Also, how could I gain the acknowledgement of the faction in the shortest time possible? Su Yu bowed in respect. The ugly face of the Second Elder underwent a slight change. Did the cruel truth not have any effect on his determination? The second elder wanted to find the phoenix blood elixir for Su Yu. Unfortunately, there was a limit to the cultivation level of people who could enter the ancient Xianyu temple. She could not enter. Three months from now, the faction will organize a Xianyan contest. 
Those placed in the top 20 will earn the right to enter the temple. But the application ends this month. Your cultivation level must be at least 4th level Holy King. You are merely 2nd level peak Holy King. You're far from meeting the criteria. If I could, I would advise you to give up. But she did not expect the level of Su Yu's resolve. There's no need. In this month, I will definitely break through to 4th level Holy King. Su Yu had to apply to enter the Xianyun contest. He had to break into 4th level Holy King in a month. All right, the second elder exhaled. She had difficulty adapting to Su Yu's determination. As for how to obtain the acknowledgement of the faction, the only thing you could try is to undertake difficult missions put out by the faction. By undertaking important missions for the faction you might earn their trust. Though, the chances are slim, you might lose your life even before the faction acknowledges you. Even so, I have to try. Su Yu clenched his teeth, not willing to concede defeat. How could he send Xi'ana to be violated by Kao Shuan? Xi'ana was a person he had sworn to protect. All right, work hard. Break through to fourth level Holy King in a month to obtain your right to participate, and fight to be acknowledged by the faction. But I cannot help you. The second elder could not finish her sentence, coughing violently as a mouthful of dark blood sprayed out from her mouth. Teacher, Mo Wu, who was guarding outside, hurriedly entered to support the second elder. Her cold eyes stared ferociously at Su Yu, harboring a deep grievance. She suspected he had harmed her teacher. No matter. The second elder calmly wiped away the blood at the corner of her lips, hugging the sleeping Xiana and directing her words to Su Yu. I have to tend to my injuries and will retreat for three months. Thus, I cannot help you. As for Keen Xiana, I will bring her into my secret chamber, as I would be able to tend to her in time should she have any sudden complications. Thank you, Second Elder. I, Su Yu, will definitely repay you a hundred times for this favor in the future. Su Yu took a deep bow, thanking her sincerely. The Second Elder had helped him a lot. Gently waving her hands, the Second Elder left with Xiana. Before she left, she nagged Su Yu one last time. Take care of yourself. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 135, Yin Yang Wine Flask. The details of the law enforcement tribunal fight had spread all over the inner sanctum. Su Yu had risen since the Fallen Star contest, all the way into the inner sanctum where he had disrupted Kao Shuan's wedding and defeated him in battle at the law enforcement tribunal. Gao Shuan, one of the four core disciples, had lost to a newcomer when they fought at the same cultivation level. According to the rumors, Gao Shuan had removed his cultivation limit after feeling indignant about his defeat, and he had attempted to launch a sneak attack on Su Yu, only to be beaten half to death by the insanely strong newcomer. If not for the intervention of his teacher, the Tenth Elder, he would have been killed by the newcomer. The news was startling. It quickly turned into the table talk of everyone in the inner sanctum. Gao Shuan had become a laughing stock, with people finding the failed sneak attack especially humorous. In the villa of the core disciples, Gao Shuan reclined in a chair. His entire body was wrapped in bandages. Surrounding him was his junior, Yuan Hu, and his good friend, Li Hao. Hearing the news of the outside world from the two, Kao Shuan's face turned sinister. Yuan Hu let out a furious grunt. Senior Kao, let me go teach those gossip mongers a lesson. Kao Shuan let out a low grunt to the surprise of Yuan Hu. Do you think I have not embarrassed myself enough? The gossip had started due to Kao Shuan's bad reputation. Wouldn't Yuan Hu assaulting others under his orders invite more gossip? Slowly retracting his neck, Kao Shuan shrunk to a corner. He knew that his attempt to curry favor had failed. Li Hao was more tactful. He shifted his gaze, letting out a warm smile. Don't we know how strong Sumu Kao truly is? Without the limiter on your cultivation level, you can kill Su Yu with but a thought. Those people gossiping outside are jealous of you, they're laughing at the expense of your suffering. Being angered by this is just sullying your own status. These words struck Kao Shuan's heart, making him feel more comfortable. Those worthless people are not worth my effort. But, 
Su Yu. Gao Xuan's gaze turned sinister. He was confident that Su Yu would gift Qin Xiana to him. If he did not vent his frustration he would not be able to eat or sleep. Yu on Hu. Leave us. Gao Xuan suddenly ordered. Yu on Hu did not dare disobey, leaving immediately. Gao Xuan cautiously scanned the surroundings, turning to Li Hao. Junior Li, it is inconvenient for me to move. Can you help me take care of Su Yu? Li Hao's expression changed, his eyes fierce. He nodded without hesitation. Even if Senior Cao didn't ask me to, I had the intention of doing so anyway. I will immediately find someone to challenge him and teach him a lesson. Challenge. Gao Shuan shook his head. Among people of the same generation, there's no one who could stand up to him. Finding someone like that to challenge him will just boost his spirits. But having senior disciples challenging junior disciples is against the rules of the faction, so challenging him would be useless. I shall follow senior Kao's orders. Li Hao was ready to do as instructed. Gao Shuan thought for a moment, retrieving a bottle of pink elixir from his sleeve. This is a high-quality love potion. Even a person who has achieved the dragon realm cannot suppress its effects after consuming it. Find an obedient and pretty female disciple, you know what to do next. Love potion. Li Hao gasped. The elixir was an extremely hallucinogen, it would activate immediately after consumption. Furthermore, it was hard to suppress it using cultivation levels. Even a person who had entered the dragon realm would lose himself. Senior Cao, you mean to frame Su Yu for molesting a female disciple? Li Hao asked. Gao Shuan grunted. It's fine as long as you understand. Use my name to gather a few disciples from the law enforcement tribunal to guard Su Yu's door, this way he won't be able to give a convincing defense. How cruel. Committing rape carried the death penalty in the Liaxian faction. But, there were rumors of Su Yu committing indecent acts with Yun Yan. Li Hao had no compassion for him. After Li Hao left, Cao Shuan's eyes flashed with mocking light. Su Yu, you stubborn wart. Let me show you what I can do. He did not think that an attempt of framing would be enough to deal with Su Yu. During the wedding, Su Yu had killed Zhu Rong in front of everybody but was still defended by the second elder. What could a rape case full of loopholes do him in? A mere look from the second elder would cause the lying female disciple to tell everyone that Li Hao was behind the entire incident. Gao Shuan's goal was to teach Su Yu a lesson and to embarrass him, he did not expect Su Yu to be punished. As for what Li Hao's fate would be when he was exposed, Gao Shuan couldn't care less. Disciples who pandered to him like Li Hao were dime a dozen, he could make do with one less. As for Li Hao blaming him for the incident, he wouldn't dare. But Cao Shuan did not know that, after Li Hao left Cao Shuan's yard, his lips had formed a sarcastic smile while holding the pink jade bottle. Cao Shuan, ah, Cao Shuan, even though your abilities are strong, how can your dirty tricks compare to mine, when I grew up in the royal family? Using me to aggravate the second elder, you really think I'm stupid? Li Hao's eyes were clear, easily seeing through Cao Shuan's intentions. Li Hao went to the outer sanctum and found Yun Yan. What matters do you have with me? Have you gotten the fire dragon mantra? Yun Yan was a little anxious. She had received news from her family that another of their major customers had been poached by the Tai family. She desperately needed the fire style technique to make weapons for her family in order to save them from this crisis. Li Hao's smile was radiant. Naturally I've got it. I have applied for leave from the External Affairs Division. I shall return with you to the mortal world tomorrow to complete the wedding ceremony. Li Hao's eyes filled with eagerness. Yun Yan not only had a beauty that could topple nations and a noble charisma, but she possessed the bloodline of the fiery lotus that he desperately wanted. During cultivation, absorbing the power of the fiery lotus from her body could help him break through the bottleneck of the fourth level peak holy king, propelling him into a fifth level holy king. Feeling Li Hao's gaze, Yun Yan felt uncomfortable. Hearing that he wanted to complete the wedding ceremony made her petite frame shudder. She hated her future. All right, tomorrow, I shall go with you back to the mortal world to complete the wedding. Yun Yan stiffened. 
But Li Hao's gaze changed. But before we go back, Yun Yang, you have to help me do something. It's something only you can do. Yun Yang raised her eyes, feeling suspicious. What was something in the faction she could do, but Li Hao and any other inner sanctum disciples couldn't? This is a love potion. Please get Su Yu and Qin Shi and are out for a drink tonight and put this in their wine, and make them do it tonight. After the deed is done, immediately send me a message and I'll show myself with the disciples of the Law Enforcement Tribunal. Li Hao did not mask his motives. Yun Yan was shocked. What? You wish to frame Su Yu? I will never agree to this. Su Yu had saved her life once, how could she return that favor with this? If you don't want the Fire Dragon Mantra, then you are free to decline. Li Hao squinted. Yun Yan was furious. You're despicable. Just give me a word, agree or disagree. Li Hao's expression was carefree, confident he had Yun Yan eating from the palm of his hand. Yun Yan bit her lips, hesitating for a moment before gently nodding her head. Fine. I'll promise. She took the love potion, her expression conflicted. This is a communication-based jade pendant. It gives off a strong light after you break it. I'll charge in when I see the light and arrest him and Qin Shiana for punishment. Li Hao handed her a fiery red jade pendant. In his heart, Li Hao had a cold laugh. I wonder if Cao Shuan knew Su Yu had touched the woman he decided he wanted, would he fly into a fury and fight Su Yu? You wish to use me, Li Hao. Why don't I use you to deal with Su Yu? Best if you take care of Su Yu for me, spares me having to do it myself. Li Hao let out a sinister laugh. He would not let anyone have anything to do with his soon-to-be wife, even if it was just a rumor. Yun Yan gripped the jade pendant, hesitating. Su Yu is a cautious person, what do I do if he suspects something and does not want to drink the wine? Then you shall drink it yourself. Li Hao was prepared. He whipped out an ordinary wine flask, no different from those that were given out by the faction. This is the yin yang wine flask. While it looks ordinary, there's a mechanism within it. Put the drug in the cover of the flask. When the cover is turned to the left, the drug will fall in the wine. When turned to the right, it will not fall. When you are pouring him wine, turn it to the left. He will consume the love potion at the same time. When pouring for yourself, remember to turn the cover to the right. Li Hao reminded. Yun Yang bit her lip, accepting it unwillingly. All right, go prepare. I'll get Su Yu and Qin Shiana. When the deed is done, I will teach you the fire dragon mantra the same night we consummate our marriage. Li Hao laughed heartily, nodding. Yun Yang left. Returning to her house, Yun Yang took out the three items, the love potion, the jade pendant, and the yin yang wine flask. Her gaze was cold, despicable. No matter how much I, Yun Yang, wanted a technique manual, I would never stoop so low as to trick a friend. Creak. She threw the three items into the small drawer in her room. They were sensitive items, she couldn't dispose of them haphazardly. I must tell Su Yu to proceed with caution. Yun Yang was determined. In the yard of the inner sanctum, Su Yu was racking his brains and planning for the next month of cultivating. Suddenly, Mo Wu came to him with an envelope, an invitation by Yun Yang. HMPH, I have misjudged you. You seemed so deeply in love just a little while ago, and now there's an invitation from another lady. Mo Wu laughed coldly. Yun Yang, Su Yu suddenly stood up and slapped his head, his heart a little apologetic. Before the Fallen Star contest, Su Yu had told her to not leave right after the contest, for he had something to give her. It was the manual for the five dragon blades he had found on the silver robed guard sent by the Empire of Darkness. Recently, Xiena had occupied his heart. Without this letter, he would have forgotten about Yun Yang. Without hesitation, Su Yu headed for the inner sanctum and to Yun Yan's house. When he knocked, Yun Yan was in her bedroom and could not open the door promptly. She apologetically called out instead, Junior Su, you can come in. Please wait for me in the hall, I'll be out soon. Su Yu went in, closing the door as he did and retrieving the five dragon blaze. Yun Yan had not come out, so Su Yu began reading the manual himself. 
It was a powerful legacy level technique with two stages. It was a pretty complete manual. Su Yu had experienced its power firsthand, it was rather powerful, almost on par with Kao Shuan's six fingers of destruction. Yun Yan had finally tidied herself, leisurely opening the curtains. She looked up to see the manual Su Yu had in his hands. She was behind Su Yu, not too far away, and so she could see what he was reading clearly. As Su Yu read the manual in deep concentration, he did not notice Yun Yan sneaking a peek behind him. Five Dragon Blaze Legacy Level Technique, a full two stages. A wave washed over Yun Yan's heart. It was another fire style legacy level technique that she desperately needed. But, in terms of power and how complete it was, it was far superior to the Fire Dragon Mantra. If she could cultivate this technique, then the weapons from her family, Yun Yan was frozen on the spot, her legs unable to move. In fact, she wanted to plead with Su Yu for a chance to read the manual. But just how rare were legacy level techniques? To get access to the Fire Dragon Mantra she had to marry a despicable person. There was no family that owned a legacy level technique in the Hundred Vassal Clans, it was hard to describe just how precious it was. Su Yu was not exactly very familiar with Yun Yan, why would he let her read it? But she knew that if she missed this opportunity, she might never come across such a precious and suitable technique again in her life. She was conflicted for a moment. Yun Yan clenched her teeth, going back into the house and trembling as she pulled open the small drawer. She whipped out the love potion, thinking, if... If I got Su Yu into an uncontrollable state, would he give the five dragon blaze to me? Would that be too despicable? Yun Yan's heart was immensely conflicted. The five dragon blaze had made a huge impact on her. If she had this manual, she would not need to care about Li Hao anymore and would completely be free of the shackles of marriage. The crisis her family faced would also be solved in just a few years, and then some. This opportunity is once in a lifetime, I need to grasp it. If Su Yu accepts the blackmail then all is fine, if he doesn't, I will ultimately not frame him. Yun Yan let out a bitter laugh. She could only scare Su Yu. If Su Yu vehemently refused to hand the manual over, she would not really frame him. Yun Yan retrieved the Yin Yang wine flask, prepared the wine and love potion, then hurriedly returned to the hall. End of the chapter. The Divine Nine Dragon will be read in five chapters for every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Please leave this sound novel and press subscribe, follow, and the bell so you don't miss any new clips as well. See you.